up guys, Arbus here, and today's video we're playing Roblox Studio, or should I say making a game. Well, um, so first of all, if you don't have Roblox Studio, it's only for PC, uh, if you're on mobile, I'm sorry, you can't do this. But anyway, I'll leave a download link down in the description if you don't have it. It should include within you buying, like, or, yeah, downloading Roblox, but anyway, go to a new game and then click base play. Now it's loaded, um, we don't need any of this, or we'll need it later, but the first thing you can do is go to replicator storage and click it plus. Add the remote to it and call it charge change. Next, we'll be reading some scripts. So, uh, we're gonna write the first script in search script service, in search script. Don't call it anything. And now game dot replicated storage dot chart change the on server event colon connect function. Oh so if you guys don't want to write this I'll leave a extra a link uh, to a, another model so you can just uh, just go get this. Um so you don't have to write any code. Nightmares in my head, I fear That the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper Anxiety, filling up every space, no privacy <laughs> Okay, after writing this script um, You can close this And now uh, what you want to do is add a screen drive to start your joy. Call this for, we'll do the, the morph drive. Or you can click here and click, click F2, like this. And now, insert a frame. Now just resize it however you want. I'll do something like this. Now add a text level. This is gonna be where uh, we put everything. Now because it's a border, it's gonna look like this. So just make it white if that's the color you're using. You don't have to worry about that. Add text scaled and then text morphs or morph dry like this. Add a font. Do this whatever you want. I'm gonna use Fredoka one. Add to the frame a UI stroke. You can customize this however you want. I'm just gonna do it like this. I'm just resetting that. UI U, UI corner. This is gonna smooth out the edges. So put it like this. Now, after doing that, I'm just gonna, gonna um, make another frame called black bar. This is only for UI design, uh, so you don't have to do this. So I'm gonna drag this up here. Now I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. So I'm gonna make a little line and then like this, this, and then drag it a little bit down. And then do the background color to black. So now it's gonna be a little like line. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. Like this. Now you can insert the morphs inside of here. Now just select this and check visible off. Now add a text button in here. I'm gonna drag this down how you want it to be positioned. Something like that. Now text scaled. Do like that. And then morph, morphs. Name it like this. And then do like 
something like the font change it up however you want UI stroke UI corner like this for first the stroke is border so 4 in thickness UI corner like this you can remove the UI corner if you want this is fully optional and inside the the, um, the morph dry right here on the text button uh, you're gonna name it for morphs button oh morphs button like this now uh, you're gonna add a script inside of it and you're gonna write the same as I am or don't do that it's up to you so this is gonna be a little bit shorter uh, script dot parent dot per no that mouse button one click colon connect function and then two more brackets then if script dot parent dot parent dot frame dot visible equals to false then script dot parent dot parent dot parent no, dot frame dot visible equals to true so basically when you click it it's gonna again repeat itself and then make it visible remove one else script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot frame dot visible equals to false after doing that you have everything set up you just need the character we're using so go to view and now let's go and find a toolbox bacon hair boy make sure there's no script in him i've used this one before it's no scripts so just check and if you don't want this overhead thingy, just go to the humanoid and click none, like this. Now, this bacon here, boy, no spaces. Here, boy. So drag this into replicated storage. This is, you can either make a folder with, uh, which I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna name it morphs. So you can drag the bacon boy inside of here. And then to morph dry, we're gonna set it visible again. And we're gonna add a button. So uh no do the block line and we're gonna drag it up here again. Okay, uh so after doing that, uh you're gonna add a uh, text button again. And this is gonna be called a bacon. Now we're gonna drag it in here. Text, scaled and rich text, up to you. Now I'm gonna bacon here. And now I'm gonna customize this with font. And then because I, I want the border on this one, I'm going to do the border size pixel for 4, like this. Now I have the bacon hair button. Okay, so uh, now we're going to add a script instead of this. Uh, this is something that's going to happen to you when you like... No, it's actually a local script, I'm sorry, I forgot. It's a local script because it's going to happen to you, not everyone in the server. So once you click it, it's going to happen to you. So you're going to write uh, a code which is very short and it's yeah it's very short uh, so script the parent the the mouse button one click colon connect function and now two more brackets down ones game dot replicated storage dot chart change colon fire server and now this is important game dot replicated storage dot morphs dot bacon here boy so basically this is the folder right here and this is the bacon here boy make sure you have no spaces in the name now this 
just make sure this is inside the frame so it goes with it when you close it I'm just gonna do the frame drag it a little bit more here like this now turn both of them check the visible off and test it As you can see, clicking the morphs, open the morph, try, clicking bacon here, turns into the bacon here. But, there's still a bug. We have to fix it. So, first of all, the morph button, because the black line is not going to show. So, duplicate the script. Just this time, make the black line instead. Black line, like this. Now, I have both of the scripts right there. And then... In the bacon air boy, you're gonna add a local script or a casual script. We'll just see. Yes, it was a local script. Now, don't delete this, it's very important. Now, name this animate. You don't have to write this. Uh, so. Uh, yeah, you don't have to write this because it's like 500 lines, so I'm not either going to uh, write this. I just have the script ready, so uh, I can just use that. So it also, if you guys want to um, make your own, you guys, you know, use a moon animator on a uh, on the... Yeah, here you can see, like, the jump... You can make your own jump ID, copy it from the moon animator and paste it here, and then it'll and the wall can run and stuff. Now let's test it. It's gonna work now, perfectly fine. And turn us into a bacon here. So maybe I want to be on bacon here. Click bacon here, and I'm a bacon here. And the animation works. Everything works just fine. If you guys enjoyed that tutorial, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Peace, peace.